how to manage your EQ when you're getting ready to shoot a drill. The Filster Enigma is a revolutionary holster chassis system that completely divorces your holster and gun from your clothing, giving you unprecedented concealment whether in sweatpants or formal wear. It attaches to your AIWB holster via the wing and allows incredible flexibility for your concealed carry. Get yours at the link below. Hey guys, Brian Hill with The Complete Combatant, and this is Suck Less Saturday, and welcome to Active Self-Protection Extra. Uh, what I notice when I'm, especially when I'm administering mm -hmm. tests or drills or qualifications on the line, is that usually the shooter clearly communicates what's about to happen to me. So what I mean is if they're calm, composed, their eyes are focused on the target, then I know it's probably going to be a pretty good run. But usually I'll see either they're very nervous and agitated and they start fiddling with things and start worrying about things, or they're not quite present enough. They're in the disassociative state and they're far from the pressure of the shooting itself. So they're not paying attention in a way they should. You'll find during the day that you can be sometimes overexcited and the next time you can be underexcited. Uh, it is the nature of human beings. We're cyclic by nature. We have 90, 90 minute uh, concentration blocks that we can usually work at and we need some time off, food, sleep, all that matters. There's a real simple trick though you can do to perform better. Okay? If you find yourself not quite up to it, you're not as excited and you feel really laid back and far away from the task, that sounds like a great thing, but it doesn't allow you to access your highest level of shooting skills. Uh, it means that you're going to be a little bit behind the curve always, a little less reactive than you should be. So what I want you to do is if you find yourself underexcited, I want you to inhale through your nose twice. If you'll do a cycle of three of that, you'll find that you really peak up. Alertness comes up, the body changes its mechanics. Uh, neurologically, we know that the heart rate changes, the blood supply changes, and the nervous system gets ready for a task then. Because what you're doing is putting oxygen into the brain and the drag racer. On the other hand, which is far more common, if you find yourself a little overwhelmed, a little too excited for it, uh, and I'm not talking about tremors. Everybody should have a little bit of adrenaline tremors before they go. I'm just talking about like you're not really, your mind's jumping around. It's very excited. You're very fidgety with your gear and you're not quite ready to go. I'd like you to do a double exhale instead. So you inhale through your nose and then do a cycle of three of that and see if it doesn't calm you down. Uh, coaches have been using this forever, especially in martial arts, we use this quite frequently. Uh, and it's much easier to get people to do it like in jiu-jitsu because breath becomes really important. But in shooting, oftentimes, uh, outside of the precision shooting world, we don't really think of breath as any more than allowing us to be stable with the gun. But it's much more important. It allows you to focus more deeply. It allows you to control your EQ, which is your emotional quotient. And it allows you to shoot at your current level of skill and nothing more. All right? And for some of you, bringing your current level of skill to the task at hand would be a big improvement because when you get nervous or you get disassociative, then you're not quite present for the task at hand. And that means that the four goals that we always have, the clear goal to be present, to get immediate feedback and to challenge ourselves appropriately is not present in your shooting. You'll see that your progress is really slowed down and, and, and overall, and you'll be very inconsistent in your shooting. Please give it a try. Remember, if you want to Get more excited, it's double inhale through the nose, nice easy exhale. If you want to settle down, it's inhale through the nose, long double exhale. That can be done through the nose also, just needs to be like a sigh, all right? Try it. Uh, it's hard to remember these things when you get up to do something because we, we feel the sense of pressure that comes from time and trying to get enough information. But this can really change the way you shoot. It can change matches. It can change the way you approach tests and classifiers and qualifications. But also, it could be a life or death thing for you, too, as you find yourself in the most stressful time of your life. Proper breathing can allow us to take action in the appropriate manner. All right, I'm Brian Hill with The Complete Combatant. This has been your simple coaching tip. Uh, if you'd like to explore this more, uh, Dr. Andrew Huberman does a great podcast on these same ideas uh, and gives you the science behind it. I think it's incredibly helpful for some of you to have that. All right, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe. Uh, I look forward to working with you guys, and as always, measure, refine, and perform.